So who do you guys think is going to win? We have our first match of the day, two and a half men versus Merciless Guillotine. Who's going to take this first match? Let us know in the chat right now. Bane Mobius, uh, this idol obviously has uh, unholy powers because this is the pink idol. This this idol has a color buff, man. And we're letting the intros rock for our first match here at the DMC 3v3 on DreamHack. Let's get it. Bane Mobius stomping on out. I love that pink idol. Ooh, I love the song too. Damn, look at that jump medium kick already right off the bat. Damn, just straight in. Dude, that's such a good button for Otto to use and gets the pip instantly on the command throw. Nice tick throw though from Freaky Jason. Great scare placement too on top of that. Let's see what he does on the other side. Good stuff right now. From Freaky Jason trying to get back, get that space away. That's such a great use against Ido and great recapture right there from Jason. He's using the space great against Ido, trying to push him back against the corner so he can get back away from him. And Bane is about to have instinct here as well. Yeah, instantly. And another thing about Freaky Jason, actually surprised he didn't throw him right there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> The other oh, thing uh, I wanted to point out, man, is how bad that is for Bane to not have that instinct go off in that first health bar. That's a huge plus for Freaky Jason. Just a heads up, this is going to be pretty obvious. We have to kind of check what's going on with Discord. It seems to be chopping up uh, for the chat pretty bad for some reason. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out, though, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, we're going to let this uh, first match rock right now. Bane Mobius is getting a lot of damage. Amy's putting in great work right now. She's such a beast, and this is one of the best instincts in the game. Oh, Jason trying to find a way out of this pressure. Yeah, there's no way out. There's no way out in instinct. Look at this chip. Chip is a factor, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's going to take a huge chunk off of Freaky Jason's instinct. He's not really going to be able to use that. He might get one super jump out the corner. Very smart use of that last bit of instinct there. Ooh, command grab reset. Yeah, another tick though reset from Jason. A great recapture, and that's a unbreakable setup right there. That was cheap. Right back and into the, the zoning, thing. and Bane Mobius has to be slowed down. Ooh, set up danger and curse again. That instinct. Yeah, she needs yeah. to. Oh, she's gonna get killed, shipped out. Wow, double shadow like that? Wow, she's just going straight in right now. Bane Mobius is just trying to do anything with instinct, but gets thrown for her troubles, and unfortunately, Jason gets thrown for his troubles just sitting there. Oh, blows up that shadow. Oh, but again, Very freaky nice. Jason, great neutral use. Okay, so Bane is up one game. No, Freaky Jason. So Freaky Jason is up her. one game. Yeah. <laughs> Jason body her. I don't know what is going on anymore. So, uh, yeah. Sorry for the technical difficulties, guys. Let's get into this match. Oh my god! Instant overhead. That's not even safe, though. Bane kind of punished that a little bit. He actually has the overhead light. Start. Oh my god! An instant now, counter breaker. <laughs> doesn't get a lot of counter breaker damage uh, compared to other characters, but you still don't want to get counter breaking, especially not into a knockdown. That was actually pretty good. That was 49%. Yeah. Hot? A nice science fortune right there from Freaky Jason. Freaky Jason again, controlling space very well. Mage form versus Conrad. More ideal, but warrior form probably be better in this situation. Gotta get in there, just put some damage in. Jason trying to set up the neutral here, trying to control the space. Oh, this is going to hurt. I don't think this is going to be enough to kill. Uh, only if he had the bar. Only if he had the bar. Uh-oh. Oh, <gasps> that was really shit. smart because Bane was definitely about to just shoulder and pop instinct. <gasps> that oh, oh my god. You got to be careful of Io's instinct. One of the best in the game that oh, the meters are overheads unless it's a uh, meter burn. And then the uh, lightning hits low, but right, great explosion again from Jason. Oh my god. Yeah, that's death right there. Oh, switches to mage body right at the end, but definitely wants warrior. <laughs> real hard to get warrior. Not able to get it. <laughs> Just 
straight face punches trying to get the other body. Oh, that was almost a whole punish. Jason oh, just nice. reached with the crush medium with a great stinger. Very smart of Jason to just hover around that pit. The ball is in Bane Mobius court right now to do something, but she has to be very careful about how she gets in because that stinger is just going off. Yeah, and it's an automatic timer of when it's going to hit, so you have to be careful when you approach. You can kind of punish between, but it's such a tight window that you might get hit on the way in. Oh, perfect counter breaker from Jason. Oh, that's, very that's bad. Yeah, it's super dead. Yeah, I want to talk about something that doesn't get talked about a lot when it comes to fighting games, and that's not doing anything, okay? Uh, there's not <laughs> a lot of players who will just stand there and look at you in certain situations, but it takes a really smart player with good awareness to just notice the situation, look at the health, look at the resources, look at the positioning on the screen, and just stare at you, right? And just do nothing. Just look at you. Just, uh, like, just not committing to anything, knowing that Bane, it was up to Bane to make a decision, and that all Jason had to do was to screw that up was to overextend and do something unsafe. It's, uh, it's a really tough situation for Bane to deal with. Yeah, especially in the uh, warrior form, like when you have to approach, and especially when uh, Jason has the scare just kind of out there, he's sitting right behind it to where if you reach, you get poked in your curse, which screws up your movement. But if you stand there too long, you will get command thrown. So it's kind of a, it was a great situation the way that Jason spaced that out. Not only that, I also wanted to point out that Khan has that little grappling hook normal and he was pulling Bane toward the stinger, which is just like, that's like really aggravating to deal with as well. Oh, so, <laughs> guys, Mac Main says he's going to take care of it himself. Okay, Ooh, fine. Team yeah. captain. Oh, I actually like this pick. <laughs> I like this pick a lot very much uh max offense is really good Mac, i think max a really aggressive player mm -hmm. yeah i love that costume too those batons are godlike yes it's going orchid it's a good one the color coordination is on i'm a big costume guy i immediately uh get irritated and very vocal if i see a bad costume but i'm a big fan of the way that mac dresses up as orchid <laughs> At least, at least it's not the candy canes orchid that we usually see. I see that costume way too much. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not sick a fan. <laughs> this should be quick. This Ooh, should we're letting the intros rock. Let's go. You gotta. Jason coming in with two lives. He just beat Bane Mobius two games straight, so he hasn't lost any lives. Yeah. He hasn't lost any. And Mac getting right up close and personal off the rip, and we're going to get a grenade set up in the first two seconds of the match. But an instant scarab. Yeah, Jason just pushing back, trying to control this space, trying to push back Mac. Like I said before, you guys are going to have to watch for some uh, tendency callouts because these guys are no doubt very familiar with each other. Yeah. Oh, he's just trying to get in just before that Scarab came out. Mac That's hasn't used the grenades. Oh, there it is. Oh, Finally yeah, that, made that slide a uh, great idea. But now he's in his face. This is exactly where Mac wants to be. Great DP. What a call wow, out. Stare down. I think he was waiting for Sand Explosion. He's gonna get that stinger on the field. Yeah, this is, this is terrible. This is terrible for Mac. Gonna... Oh, yo, the call Ooh, out! What a call out! Just to do that setup. wrong. We're gonna have to hold this. Jason gets caught trying to throw and a lockout into a grenade setup. Explosion says no, I want none of that. And I think uh, Conrad gets to explode from any position anywhere where he doesn't need the sand on the screen. I was actually curious if that bomb would take the hit from the uh, tornado that was coming in. But apparently still has it. Box that's too far out. Yeah. Ooh, there I like. <laughs> Ooh, kitty cat on oh the other side. God, these cats are actually a big help to closing the gap. Great be breaking the medium. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That's the season one. Go a lower overhead and then call the cat. Very nice. Oh, he tried to go for the air throw. That's that Chun Li nonsense. Behave. Oh my God! Too much block stun, and Jason's actually gonna get punished for that. And this Great is gonna, lock this is gonna hurt, bro. This could be this huge damage. damage. Jason sitting on instinct. Mac man, chasing, chasing. No punish on the slide. Yeah, he can back off. Mac doesn't need to go in right now. 
Yeah, use the grenade as shelter and then slowly work your way forward. Oh, that's unblockable. You gotta jump. Stop it! No! What no, are you doing? sometimes taking the hit is uh, the good idea in that situation. About to get wow, that's oh, the other mine. way. Mac got lucky with that. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice jump over and medium kick. Oh, he's, he might be dead. He might be dead. Orki hits so hard. Wow. <laughs> Good stuff from Macman. The team captain say enough is enough. Damn, he stepped up to the plate. Just beat my ass. I'm like, oh my god, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he's so good. Dude, Macman is like one of my favorite people to fight in general. Yeah, he's super good. My intro's rock again. Yeah, that's just... I'm surprised uh, Jason didn't go for the uh, gold out outfit counter pick. He usually does that when he takes yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, game two costume. Yeah, the the little what's it? The uh, Chinatown, your favorite outfit? Yes, the uh, um, big trouble little Chinatown. Yeah, the man. <laughs> Fire. Yeah, at least he's got the hat. Oh. Jason with a recapture and a lockout here, switching sides, putting Mac, trying to put himself on the board. Oh, he catches the back dash of the crush media punch right into the scare up, but he missed the stinger. But Mac dealt, or uh, Jason don't care. Oh, good counter. Great counter. Jason's really good at uh, just sand explosion, certain moves to avoid the instinct pop. Doesn't want to deal with it. That's a great block in the overhead, but oh my god, Mac Man is right back in there. If he locks out, he will die. Next combo. Nice overhead. Oh, no bite on the counter breaker. Now Jason is on the defensive here. Oh, and locks out. That's going to be the health bar. Would have liked to see an instinct pop there from Jason. I think that uh, would have saved him a lot of trouble. Yeah, he could have just been out of that whole situation. Oh my god, there's the air throw he went for last round. That grenade setup was godlike in an optimal punish too. Yeah, it's Very heavy in play. God, so much damage. Macman one combo away from taking this 2-0 again. Four dash when you're cursed. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Yo, he still hit. I, I respect that reversal. Uh, Mac has a lot of life to uh, gamble with here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he went for another air throw. The, the balls on this man. Oh, that's it. So that's 2-0 Mac, man. Damn. And Let a full ultra. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I'm going to find out who he's going to put out next. Let's go. Very, so, very nice. You think uh, Wheels goes captain for captain, or do you, does he send it on deck? Because uh, I think Hisako does well against Orchid. I don't mean... level actually would actually be Stilo. I think uh, Stilo is ridiculously good with Gargos, but... Yeah, I agree. You're dealing with like an Orchid Terminator, like a former Orchid player playing Gargos, which is one of her worst matchups, bro. Like, that's uh, that's brutal to deal with. Yeah, the air throws out Yo, there. Mac oh, is in already. Feels is kind of in trouble right now. Mac He's said no, no meter for you. I'm trying to get this. Yeah, Mac Great. is already trying to get on wheels immediately. He needs Great. to secure this offense early. Ooh. Oh no! Yo, short slide. That was very smart. Wheels right now is just trying to get that space back. Get away from me, girl. Stop it. Now he's going to start the torture. Bring out the minion. Oh, never mind. So bomb's a good way to deal with the minions, it looks like. Go with fire oh, cat. No, what? stop it. Just straight whiff punish that super. That super is minus two, so it's not really something you want to block. Super dive. Bring out the other minion. Oh, it's time. Coming through this nowhere. Is, this is where stuff gets really, really difficult to deal with. Mac might have to just pop his instinct just to deal with these minions. Yeah, just send out the firecast to take the I hit mean, on the minion. He's probably looking for super or slide in the instinct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, wow, if, if Wheels had blocked that, he definitely would have just popped the instinct. But now it's going to be a corner situation. The cats coming from behind are actually going to hit the minions. Dang, that's Man, crazy. that makes this whole instinct obsolete when he's on yeah, the opposite side. Yeah, I really side. honestly feel... Uh, it, it does make the instinct obsolete to a degree, but it is also good for Mac that he has a different way to destroy the minions, too. I yeah. think that's uh, definitely something to point out. But it's so much work for Mac Man to do to A, get in, yeah. and then stay in. Because once Gar goes back out, as you see, Wheels controls the whole left side of the screen the whole game. Mac never really got it. He has to yellow slide just to have a chance. Yeah. This is very difficult for Orchid to navigate. 
I would say walk him down, but I mean, now you got a minion at the stage. This is a whole obstacle course. He's about to get again. That, 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 knows the spacing of that so well. That crouching medium punch is doing so much damage, and he's going for damage now. No more minions, no more meter. Because he's noticed that Mac Man's been shadow catting all his all the way in. He's just crouching medium punch punish, and now full full chaos. If Mac wants to turn this around, he's gonna have to do pretty much everything perfectly. But Wheels is countering that Shadow Fire Kit so well. Oh, the minions stop the combo! <laughs> Why? <laughs> and Wheels is out of there, and you're stuck in that chip. And like Jeez, you said, man, he's so consistently punishing that. He, he has knows to exactly switch. where that ends. He knows exactly where that ends. So. Like I said, it's one thing to play a bad matchup, it's another thing to play a bad matchup against a person who knows it as well as Wheels do. That's so aggravating as a character. Yeah. Maybe he got some coaching. Yeah. He just skate fast and bang on the side. So maybe they taught him something they can help out a little bit more with the Gargos matchup. I'm curious to see what if he can make any type of adjustments because that was really rough first game. Similar start to the other match. Uh you know, Mac trying to move in early on and get this offense started. This is one character, Gargos. If you lose momentum against this character, it just gets out of control. Ooh, nice oh, big here. lockout. The throw okay. is going to do a big chunk of damage here. Nice tack. Great defense from Wheel. Great back dash. Oh, my God. A great break, but unfortunately, Wills is on the other side. He can full punish that slide. Stop doing that. Now the minion is behind. Oh, nice and shadow safe. counter. He's seen that one before. <laughs> and that shadow did do a hit on the minion. So yeah. that minion is only one more hit. Ooh, that's great timing, but unfortunately, God, Wheels facing so good. The crushing heavy. Oh, my God, what are you doing? It's a hard knockdown, too. Yo, pass me the rock dog. I got this with alley oop from the uh, minion. Too. Buster. That's a nice trade. Not bad. Oh, man, Ooh. that reckoning blew up that whole slide scenario. Oh, he's about to yell. Ah, stop. It's tough to do that when uh, your character has walking super armor. <laughs> Very difficult. I'm surprised he's uh, burning all of his instinct, but then again, he could burst at any moment. I guess he wants yep. the super armor. Let's go in. Wow. Oh! Air throw, but those minions, man. Those minions gotta go. Block high. Oh, the minions are just. They're so oppressive. This is. Uh, he's about to get whiffed on his back dash. Whoa. Oh! So one of those minions is gone, and that, that hit on the other one, they're gone now. Mac does kind of have a chance here. He needs to get rid of this life bar. He's definitely going to get another minion out. Yeah, he's he just back dashes. He knows how <laughs> difficult it is for Orca to navigate this. Oh, yellow slide goes for chip. Not chip enough. No. no, Mac was so thirsty for that hit. <laughs> Yo, he's he going to sweep. that that was it right there. Ooh. All the way in. I'll tell you right now, Mac needs to not get locked out, bro. Because he's so close to getting his instinct. No! Wow, as you say that, he locks out immediately. But he still has 10. Maybe spent a bar on that, but I don't think that it would have killed. There's that spacing again, man. He shut that down every time. Wheels. Oh, man. This is such a hard team to beat. Yeah. I know that, um, <laughs> that... So that's like a pretty... It's a pretty glaringly good strategy, actually, for Orchid to do the Shadow Fire Cat. Um, it's going to hit the minions, right? Each minion would take one hit. You yeah. make Gargles block it. It would go over a portal punch. And also, I mean, you know, if you block it, you know, you get the pop instinct. But, I mean, Will scouted that every single time. He knew that that was Max, like, last-ditch effort in those neutral situations. It is still a risk. I'll Name. forgive him because he's using the T1000 Glacius. <laughs> All right, you get a pass. You get a pass. All right, so we got wheels. We got skate fast. This is the OG matchup. You know, you know, two and a half men is a returning team, and this was the match that they played. This was the final match. Yep, and they both had two lives too going into that, and it had created one of the greatest moments in our tournament series so far. Let's see if we can get some more magic right now. Oh my god, he just kicked the Goodness. cold shoulder, are you serious? And a restand? You have to do all that. And that's gonna take some hit on the minion, that wasn't a bad idea. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the other hell just hit it again. Who locks out in heavies. 
Oh, that's still tracked. I thought that that cold shoulder was gonna actually make the tracking lose on that. What? He picked the minion up instead. Oh, the hell! How the many minions. more hits does that minion have, man? One. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like he Good got duffed bad times. Are you right? You were. Yeah, he got rid of both of them, but he might die. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's oh, he's death. super dead. That damage ender, Ayazuna drop. Yep. Right on the head. Pause. <laughs> KFAS sitting on instinct here. Wheels with a healthy life lead. He's not worried about nothing. You know what's huge is that he didn't get to pop instinct on that first life bar. Yeah, the yeah, yep, I agree. Not getting to do that. Oh my god, what a backdash in the command throw. Waste that instinct time. Great stuff from Dayton. He's out of there. And no puddle punch from Skate Fast to try to close that distance. Yeah, I think he was using that to try to hit the minion with that shadow. Yeah. Oh, poked him, stop it. Yo, the minion said, get down, Mr. President, and jumped right <laughs> into that head. You saw that? Yo, again? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. President. He's taking the shot. Oh, the great poke. The guard. Mm. Wheel's not interested in trying to get a combo off of that juggle. He just lets Skate Fast fall. He's like, I got a life lead. I don't need you breaking me and knocking me down. And then full punish, crouch and medium punch again from Day. Oh, and another alley oop! Yeah, Yo, your command grab does do a hard knockdown. What kind of setup was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dayton's coming up with some nonsense. Jeez. I, I respect that. That was a good counter breaker. That was a really good counter breaker. Yeah. You guys want to see a sick comeback? I Man, do want to see a sick comeback. Da, 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 da. You got wheels with instinct. Oh, <gasps> yo, shatter. I don't know about all that. He's definitely gonna have to set Sweet. him up here. Jab check. Ooh, the delayed oh, puddle Ooh. punch. Yo. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Very I nice think... confirm from wheels to just do light shadow instinct. Just wrap instinct. it up. Yeah, instinct ultra. Uh, I think that uh, stabby minion's gonna end up with the triple double before this uh, tournament's over because that's he's just lobbing all day for Dayton. He does have some stylish stuff. He really is like a minimalistic player. Like he doesn't really have to do a lot. He knows how to run strategies. He knows how to run basic game plans. He just does a little less, you know? He's backing yeah. off, we're gonna throw portal punches. We're gonna get these minions out when we get the bar. Keeping it really basic. Oh, great breaker. Because the hell counter has the opener right there. That the Lance was a breaker. And again, on the cold shoulder breaker. But this is actually a great spot for Skate Fast. Try to go air to air with the company heavy punch. Ooh, gets punished for his problem. Travels. Oh, restand. Yeah, Wheels loves these restand combos. Just calling a minion. Damn, that interrupted the shadow. <laughs> like, he needs to be able to pop and stick this first life part of this game. That's going to give him so much mileage. Great Damn, Lance in the bro. air. Like a Yurian play right now. Oh, Rush. this is it. This is the. What do you throw? Oh wow! Wheels, what are you doing? He's got to oh, all that damage. All that is extra damage. Yo, Skate Fast had his own instinct though. Oh no, my man. God, the super armor! And that's a great anti air. Shadow yeah. Hail. That was a great call up from Skate Fast. It's we're not over yet. Oh, sweep set up here. Instant overhead, dirty stuff. Oh, he missed time day. He's trying to go for double manual light kicks. Oh my god! Wow, what an anti here. Yeah, I mean, that was crazy that Skate Fest jumped in on him with Glacius. It's something you don't really see unless he's using his Dalsim limbs from a distance. You don't usually see Glacius players jump up with, like, fears. Yeah. <laughs> Very uncommon to see that. Yeah. Oh. Wheel's gonna sit on this life lead again. We've seen this before. He's willing to play a lame game. He's gonna go right back into portal punches after that. But that minion's done, but he's coming oh, right yeah. back out right now. Minion is getting right back out. Yeah. Yo, he <laughs> tried to punish that, and that's gonna cost him some health here. Great breaking the not bad at all. One that's hit. so much damage. One chance. One chance. He's gonna get a setup here. Bro. What is Wheel's gonna respond with? Oh, get off. <laughs> of course, it's DP. Yeah, dude, to have Undead, you gotta play against Undead Gamer even if you win this with one life.
Yeah. That's one. I mean, that's one of the reasons why Two and a Half Men is a champion team of the three v three because they're deadly, dude. That's a deadly alliance for real. Yeah, all around. Like it's one these of the hardest are no teams. to each other. Skatefest can definitely do this. All these players are very familiar with each other. Ooh, shatter. Oh, nice. big lockout. One Huge character damage. you never want to lock out on his Glacius. Yeah, he, just, he gets so much raw damage from one meter. 52% just like that. Goes for instant overhead. Again. Nice jump back. Oh, skate fast. Great. Much better spacing. Gets oh him with cold God, shoulder. Shatter reset. Sweet. I don't blame him, but nice patience from wheels to not yeah. try to take that at all. Oh, I would have broken died. Yeah, I definitely would have. <laughs> Gay fest, pokes is nice. Great spacing. Good strip guard though by that portal punch. <gasps> Dash Yo! Grab. Yo, oh my god. I was hoping. I almost. Them down and doing shadow command grab, that's my jam right there. Yo, I stay fast. That. Yeah. Command grab. No way. He's out of there. Nope. This is so oppressive to deal with, because how do you wake up against a character like this, man? You don't. God damn. With a minion out, too. Oh, he's going to shed that. That's an interesting choice. Actually, the fact that uh, Skate Pass woke up with Heavy Punch would have been able uh, to blown him up. Um, but he still has Instinct. He still has basically two bars. A couple of straight hits. Oh, well, there's one. Damn. <laughs> Blowing up that hail with this Portal Punch. Oh, great. Oh, the wheels don't do that. Don't lock the out. The counter breaker mind games right now are amazing. Oh, and he went for a reset. reset. He actually could have killed there. I think he would have built the bar. It would have been too close. Oh, heavy punch. Scrambly kind of situation no! here. Oh, my God. I thought he was going through. Wheels oppressing him with this armor. He knows he can't really do anything about it. He's like, I got armor too. What's up? <gasps> Yo, armor on armor action. He gets Bro, out again. Oh my god, again. Bro, oh, oh, he oh, he got that. Bro, no, he's back dash. Yo, shatter? Shatter. Oh my god. Wheels. No. Yo. Oh, he got him again. Skate fast got him again. <laughs> Same setup that he got him with last time. Just heavy punch, cold shoulder, ultra. <laughs> The bags and the Glacius dance too. But guess what? We're not done. I'm this dead gamer. Be, this would be crazy if he comes back to all this. Eventually lost arm, but here we go. Hisako versus Glacius. Frank, what do you think about this matchup? I think that this matchup is even, to be honest with you. I think that neither player likes playing it. I do think Hisako does super well. I think Sweep blows the hail up. But I think the roughest thing about this matchup is not only is Skatefest fighting undead, but he's fighting undead with one life. He has to 2-0 uh, undead straight without losing a match here if he wants his team oh to advance. God, he just actually woke up DP against Asako. So I think right now Undead's playing in the perfect range, so where if Skate does any type of hill, he can sweep or wreck it right in. But now we're out of that situation. This is where Skate Fast thrives. Oh, where are you going to get mixed up with? Gets a punish off of that with command grab attempt. What's the setup? Oh my god, a nice little touch nice light kick. Now, Undead, he has to watch out because if he puts a hail out, Undead can just shadow him. So you yeah. can see he's being extremely cautious about Undead's approach and everything. Not to mention, Undead has instinct. That's actually uh, going to be really bad. This is a good knockdown situation. Yeah, that's a nice deep jump in and gets a sweep again. Oh, good lockout on that. Hisako's auto doubles can be wound up. It's part of her combo trait, and that really baits lockouts on people super hard. Oh, no. That's terrible. <gasps> he doesn't care. Do it again. Yo, okay. Un uh, Skate Fast is doing a, a pretty great job at controlling this space. Hisako is, uh, I think, an anti-zoner. She doesn't really get zoned by anybody. Yeah, with her uh, great forward dash. Oh, looks like they're working out. All right, boys are back in. Oh, just short for that shatter. He did just raw shatter again. That's very a smart to use uh, his meter for that shadow. It causes a lot of really tough knockdown situations. Delayed instinct pop with armor. Gets jab into shatter. 
What's the setup gonna be here? You can go left right now with the oh, instinct. No oh, he gets out the side, but no punish. Oh, this is so bad. This is two bar <gasps> lockout. He's gonna spin no, both. No, decides to save the other. Bar. No, he wants to. He wants to guarantee kill right now. If yeah, he can no, get this hit, pop. if he can get this hit, he can kill. He's baiting undead. To oh, jump that's instinct time. Oh, that hail is gonna trade, but undead's gonna get the advantage. Oh my god, this is terrifying! This is terrifying! Oh, oh my god! god. Gonna no, it's Bro! Yo, the raw shatter! Skate says, what are you doing? Why are you playing like this? This dude, it, I'm gonna tell you right now, you can jump out of shatter. It is not as easy to do um, online as it is offline, but this man is a sniper with shatter. He hits that like so perfectly, and not only that, He's really good at manipulating players to jump into shatters or jump away from shatters so that he can set up other things like, you know, um, shadow hail and I mean, I'm um, shadow shatter, which is like the spikes that come out of the ground. The yeah. other thing I wanted to point out is undead is recognizing that skate fast is not doing shatter or hail in certain spacings. And so undead is deciding instead to use his meter to do shadow influence which is an extremely smart adaptation he knows that he's not going to catch undead um he's not going to catch skate fast doing a lot of projectile based things so he's just going to catch him blocking more often than not empty jumps you know yeah and man so yeah, you go right there so these command grabs are getting represented way more because of how careful skate fast is playing well it's that but he also he's going to wake up dp eventually and skate pass again, getting that space and just doing raw shatter again. Great break though from Ende. He has to stay on top of him this time. He gets jab check as oh, he comes in. Yo! yo. This is about to do right now. He's gonna plug this shadow in. Dude, he's almost dead for real. Yo, the fifty-seven percent. That's not a DP. Oh, the, the hell! I cannot believe how well skate fast is playing right he, now. He's about to knock out the. First season champs. And th he's that wasted so much instinct too. The jab check again, and the hills again. He gets a full punish. Oh my God, Skate Fest is about to do what he I couldn't do the first season. Right but Undead is not out yet. This is gonna. Do this is Sako hurts too, man. She hurts so bad. Yeah, gonna but save the bar. Gonna go for wall splat. He's. Uh, oh my God, that I think that might have been a mistake. He's. He's about to die next hit. I think this he locks was a out. mistake. Yeah. Yo, instant he's overhead. Dead. Oh my god, he is so hyper aware of everything and he just oh. does a shot of oh, oh my god. This might be it. Don't lock out. Don't lock out. Great break. I don't know if he's gonna get an instinct before he dies. Undead is in such a tough situation. Skate pass a couple hits away from taking his team to the next round. I like that he spent the bar just to secure that health bar. Getting some breathing room, getting the opportunity to reposition between rounds. And also Undead is one hit away from instinct, and there it there is. It he is. has it right now. But this no is a meter terrible. is going to make you navigating this screen a little bit more difficult. Yeah, he can't uh, shadow his way There's in. There's right coming now. behind. Nice, very smart to use that shadow to avoid all that. And broken immediately. Using just... the shadow hail just to put more hail out. Undead is almost gone here. The instinct is almost gone as well. Trying so hard to find one, a way in. One poke, he's oh dead. Oh my god, and just oh. like that. Two and a half men, the reigning champion team is out. First round, dude. First round. My team to get to grand finals, done. <laughs>